Hey, so what we got here is uh, a Nano VNA, and this is my FT40 uh, 240-43 with 12 turns of RG8X on it. I did an earlier video on just the choking impedance of uh, such a core. Compared it to G3TXQ's published data. And uh, anyway, here is uh, just like I just did with the, the uh, DX Engineering 1 to 1 current balance. I'm going to take a look at the output. I've got the loads attached, the same exact ones, two 51 ohm resistors in parallel from the shield to ground and from the center conductor to ground, and reading that on the scope. So, here's a little closer look. I don't know how much detail you'll be able to see, but there are resistors there. And that's what it looks like. So, let's take a look at the Nano VNA scan. Okay, I hope this is in focus. I can't really tell. Um, but here's uh, what the scan looks like from the Nano VNA using the PC software. Uh, it's only a 10 kilohertz span from 3500 to 3510 kilohertz. There's a little red marker right in the middle at 3505. And it's showing a uh, SWR of 1.069 to 1 after calibration at the end of the cable and, you know, all the usual stuff. So, uh... Anyway, it uh, looks like it has a pretty good SWR, at least at that low frequency. So, now, um, over to the scope. Hang on. Okay, here's the output. Uh, I've added in a little extra averaging. Um, the, uh, the sweep causes a little bit of trace instability, so I've just kind of averaged that out. But I adjusted the horizontal position so you can see where it crosses the uh, vertical axis there. Get an idea of uh, how close the phase relationship is. And there's other stuff, measurement stuff I can do with this scope. But I want to keep this short. Anyway, peak to peak on both channel 1 and channel 2 is reading pretty much identical. 62 millivolts peak to peak. So amplitudes are the same and um, the uh, phase shift looks good so that's the FT243 um, 12 turns of RG8X kind of a follow-up to a previous video anyway keep tinkering see you later